Hey, Miles here, milesbecker.com. In this video, you're gonna learn how to set up your autoresponder sequence for your email marketing success. There's two main goals that we're going to accomplish here. The first is to create a follow-up sequence that will indoctrinate your leads with your content. It's gonna deliver your free thing. It's gonna start the relationship building process with you. Once that follow-up sequence, the autoresponder is completed, there will be a system that builds you a broadcast segment. These are for your daily emails and future ongoing emails. This way you can mail your broadcast segment separately every day and it won't double email or interfere with people who are going through your follow-up sequence. This is how I run my autoresponder. This is how my wife runs her autoresponder that's seen hundreds of thousands of leads go through it. Obviously, this is how I recommend you do. Now, we're not gonna go into the actual what to say in the emails. My wife and I created a separate video on that. I'll link you to that video for the actual content of what goes in the emails in uh, the description below. I've got some content um, just in a notepad file that I'm going to be adding to make the process quick to show you exactly how to get this all set up. The one other thing I'm using a Weber. If you're not on a Weber yet, you can get it at milesbeckler.com forward slash a Weber. Um, I am an affiliate. That is an affiliate link. I do receive a little kickback, but I also believe that a Weber is the number one autoresponder for people who are just getting started with email marketing. If you're under 30,000 or 50,000 subscribers and you're really still just getting momentum on your side, Aweber makes things easier than most other companies, and I've been testing their deliverability. It is still the best deliverability in the industry. It actually beat Active Campaign's deliverability by over 6%. Uh, imagine that, 6% of your efforts on some other campaign system won't even reach the inbox where they actually reach the inbox here with Aweber. So that's a key to your long-term success. Um, follow along, I'm gonna jump on the computer now and show you how to get this all set up, and let's do it. So we're here in Aweber, and I'm on my DIY sales funnel list, which is the list that I'm creating this autoresponder for. And this is the campaigns page. You get here from messages and you click on campaigns. And you can see I have none of them yet. So you can click create here or click create there. And it wants us to name it. Now, really quickly, if you're running multiple offers and giveaways from one domain, for example, you have like a Facebook entrance and something free for Facebook. Then you have a funnel giveaway for the funnel side of things and you have a, a Google paid traffic giveaway, you will create a separate campaign for each giveaway because each of them will have a separate follow-up sequence and you can still put people back on one broadcast list. So long-term, you're only managing one broadcast list. But for this example, I'm just doing one. So I'm going to put it as the name of the list. And now we're inside of the campaign. You can use these campaigns in a couple of different ways and they're very powerful. Number one is to run the main list. And this is the on subscribe, which is what we're gonna use today. When a user subscribes to this list, here's what happens. The other is when you apply a specific tag. This is more advanced. And essentially, if you have in your autoresponder sequence, let's say you mention a Facebook uh, tutorial and they click on the Facebook tutorial, you could then add a tag tag that would move them to another campaign that goes deeper into Facebook products. This is the kind of segmenting type of stuff. This is advanced email marketing. Frank Kern calls this dynamic behavioral response marketing. We will build our way up to that, but for right now, you just want to get one email autoresponder series created. So we're going to use on subscribe. Now we've got three options on the left. You can either drag and drop or double click them, but essentially I've got a four email sequence and it doesn't matter whether you've got a two email sequence or a 30 email sequence you build it out the exact same we want to alternate email and then wait for a day and then email and wait for a day so I'm gonna get that set up right now again you can drag them and drop them in order or you can simply double click So now I've created four emails because I have written four emails. Uh, again, it's up to you what's best for your business. And you can see our video where we talk about the content for these in the description below. Um, but you want to make sure that the send message is first. So right after they subscribe, they're going to get delivery of the item that you promised them from your opt-in page. Then we're going to wait a day, email two, 
wait a day, email three, wait a day, email four, wait a day, and here's the magic behind the system. We now want to apply a tag at the bottom. So at the bottom, we're applying a tag, and what I'm gonna name this tag is my list broadcast. When I say my list, for me, it's DIY sales funnel, right? Because that's the name of my list. And this is what I'm gonna build my segment off of in the future of this video. And to do that, you simply add this tag. You create it right here in the system. I'm gonna do that right now. And again, I name it with the list and also the broadcast. So I know essentially uh, what I want to focus this on. And you can see now that it's got that kind of graded out and turned it into a little bubble, I know that it has finished and it says apply tag DIY sales funnel broadcast. Now these emails I've just put in, there's nothing in them yet, right? There's, there's no content in there. And I have, as I mentioned, I've got this notepad with email one, email two, email three, email four. Now for pure transparency and to show you how I go through this process super quickly, I'm going to use the speed up function in post-production as I'm going through this to make it really fast. So you can see exactly what I'm doing, but it's not going to take forever. Although I'm going to do it in real time here with you watching. But what we want to do is I want to click on this send message and I'm going to click click create a message. I prefer their drag and drop email builder, although I'm sending what's going to look like an H what's going to look like a plain text email, excuse me, we want it to be built with their HTML system. So we can do all the click tracking and all of the fancy stuff in here. So this one will be a little slower, I'll speed up the next one, but we add our subject up top, which I've already written up here. I'm going to copy that. Now inside of the content area, I'm simply going to copy this all and delete it out. And I'm going to copy, take my content here, paste it in. I'm going to add the extra space because it kind of squished that out, you know, got to make it looking good. Then I want to take my link and make sure it's a clickable hyperlink. And again, you are able to add fancy functionality on these clicks if you want. I'm not going to do anything that yet. And then the last thing I do here is I copy this whole thing and I bump the size up to 16 point. It's very easy to read at 16 point. And this is essentially how I'm going to send out this email. I'm done with this here. So I'm going to click save and exit and I'm going to go on to the next ones. And I'm going to complete this process again four times over uh, just to make sure I get it done and set up correctly. It takes me back to this main kind of campaign. And you can see I've got my next one, my first one in, and then I'm going to set up the second one, the third one, the fourth one. I'm going to pull that off really quickly here and I'll catch right back up with you in a heartbeat. All right, and we're back. Now I have my four messages, one, two, three, four messages that are gonna go automated, so it's an auto responder. Then I have my one day break in between each of those. So you'll get message one after subscribing, it'll wait a day, message two, wait a day three, wait a day four, wait a day, and then it applies the tag. At this point, I'm done inside of this campaign. You can see it's still in draft mode because I got all that set up. So I'm gonna click save and exit. And that's it. I've got it running. I'm going to activate this. Now it is active. So now I actually have all of my kind of new subscribers are going to go through this sequence. You can see you can follow along with the open percent and the click percent. That'll help you optimize your headlines and your email copy in the future. But ultimately, I'm done at this point. Point. So now we need to go set up the broadcast segment. To do this, we want to go over here to subscribers and we want to click manage subscribers. Now, I don't have anyone in this role yet, but I'm going to show you how to set it up. And if you're just getting started, you won't have anyone in this role yet as well. And that's okay. Here's how you set it up because we will be able to use this in the future. Click select field and then tag is and then we need to enter our tag name now i'm going to click search and you can see it pulls up that tag name and you maybe wanted to copy and paste it we might want to go double check this is very very key to your success here that this is the exact tag that we had in the campaigns area. So let's even just take a quick heartbeat to show you how important it is. I'm actually going to take the time to double check it real quick. 
DIY sales funnel broadcast, DIY sales funnel broadcast, and this I'm going to name it as DIY sales funnel broadcast. Now I have an actual segment of people who will have gone through that entire process of the follow-up sequence and they're now in the broadcast. So when I want to send a broadcast, I go here to messages, I click broadcasts, and then I will create a new message. Let's use the drag and drop. I'm just going to kind of put some, some garbly goop in here real quick, just because I want to show you the full process, even though I'm not going to send this email, but I want you to see how. So same stuff. Perfect. I'm going to save and exit. Now I'm going to choose who to send this to. So I go to send options and schedule a broadcast. And right here where it says who should receive this message. Currently it's set to everyone, DIY sales funnel, active subscribers. But I don't want that because some people are going through the follow-up and I want to make sure I honor that follow-up sequence. So what I want to change it to is the DIY, you can see it right down here, DIY sales funnel broadcast. It popped up in the segment list. I click apply. And there it is. Now this email is going to go out to just the people who have that broadcast tag right there. And that's it. Real quick to show you how you would potentially tag someone on a click and move them into another automation. That's right here in the automation. So you can edit the automations and you can put on the message open, you can add certain tags. Or if there's a link, it'll give you the click automations and you can add a tag when someone clicks, which means you can move them to another campaign when they click. So if they're reading your follow-up sequence and they click on an email about subject C and you have a separate follow-up that goes deeper on subject C, when they click to the blog post you have, you can move them over to that segment to follow up more. It turns your autoresponder sequence into a choose your own adventure. Um, I would simply apply this, which I'm not going to complete because I don't want to accidentally send this out. Um, I would click apply and send message now is how I would broadcast to my broadcast segment. And that's it. That is how I set up my email systems. This is the autoresponder, very tactical stuff, but it's important because you do need to have two things going on with your email marketing. Number one, you need to bring them through your indoctrination sequence. You saw exactly how to do that, setting up the campaign. Then you use Aweber's tagging campaign to tag them at the end with your broadcast tag. And you can tag people from multiple different campaigns with the same broadcast tag. And then once this is all set up, all you need to do is log into Aweber, set up a new broadcast, choose the segment of your broadcast tag, and then send them out your daily emails, your other every other day emails, however you're going about it. This is how I'm managing my email system. This is how I recommend you manage your email system. I really prefer sending out broadcast emails. That's why I keep my follow-up sequences short. Uh, that allows me to really just catch people up on, on who I am, what I offer, what I'm doing. That way I can get those daily emails out because that's really where you build a connection with people. Today's a holiday, it's Memorial Day, so I send an email today to my list about the holiday. And I use these kind of current events and these ideas and my ongoing thought trains and, and my responses to, to video comments. Those are always new ideas to help me continue to help you as an email subscriber. And that is through the daily broadcast emails. That's why there's so much value in it. And I highly recommend you implement this system here. Again, if you're not on Aweber yet, go to Aweber or go, excuse me, go to milesbeckler.com forward slash Aweber. That is my affiliate link. It does help me generate a bit of revenue to keep me making these videos, these helpful videos for you. I'll probably make some more advanced segments and all that kind of stuff I talked about a little bit. Um, I'll make those videos in the future, but ultimately let's get you set up. Let's get you running because you need to have your opt-in page giving away something of value. You need to have your email system following up, building the relationship, and then you need the ability to broadcast out new ideas, new offers, new helpful emails as these ideas come out to you. And that, my friend, is the foundation you need for successful email marketing. This is a timeless approach to email marketing. It is fantastic here in 2018. This is is exactly what I'll be running in 2019 and beyond. This, my friend, is ultimately the machine and the asset that drives your business. My wife and I make most of our money, right, of the millions of dollars we've made online. Most of it comes in direct response to the emails we've sent out to our lists. 
can't stress it enough, building a list and then ultimately growing a relationship with your list through consistently giving value that'll keep you top of mind, that'll keep you right in the forefront of their thoughts when the time is right for them to purchase. You will be the obvious choice and you'll probably be popping up in their email that day. That's a win-win right there, my friend. I've run long enough on this. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give it a thumbs up. If you know somebody who's trying to figure out how to get their email marketing going, grab the link, share it with them, embed it in a in a blog post if you'd like. Uh, just give me a little link to milesbecker.com if you do. I do appreciate that. And any questions you can get at me in the comments below. I do appreciate your time, your comments. I'll answer as many questions as I can with the time I have available and be sure to subscribe because I got another video coming out in two days and then another video coming out a couple days after that. And I will keep laying this path to success online out in front of you. You need to keep taking action. So get your email autoresponder set up, get your broadcast segment set up, and I will catch you on the next video. Thanks again and see you soon.